Mm. Yes, ma'am. Hello, all of you beautiful people out there. It is me, Madison. I hope you do what's so so well today. Today, you guys, <laughs> we have another chip bong because you know that I freaking love chips so much. So, I have been collecting chips that I've been buying at the store whenever I find vegan chips and I have been keeping them in my closet for another chip bong. This is like the fourth chip bong that I've done. I'm going to put a playlist to my chip bongs up here and also at the end of this video, but you guys have no idea how much willpower it's taken me not to eat all of these chips behind me. <laughs> I've been collecting them for like a month or a half or so. Um, so I am so excited to dig into these chips. And not only are we going to be eating some chips today, we are going to be making a spinach dip for our chips. Mm, this is like a spinach artichoke dip, but I don't know. I like artichokes, but I don't like them in spinach and artichoke dip. I just want spinach dip. That's what we're going to make today. All vegan. So... Let's get started. Ah, yes, ma'am. <laughs> so it's really easy. You just gotta prep some ingredients first. So here I have about two cups of soaked cashews, two cups of unsoaked cashews, which then creates, I don't know, maybe three cups. I don't know. I don't know how much I use of stuff. Just put about this much into a bowl and soak it overnight. I soaked it for maybe 12 hours actually. Okay, so we are going to put that into our blender and then we're going to add a package of silken tofu. This is one pound, 16 ounces of silken tofu. Okay, so we've got the tofu in there and the cashews in there that are soaked and that's what's gonna give this dip like a super, super rich, creamy flavor. I promise, it's gonna be so good. And then the next thing we're gonna add is nutritional yeast. Um, two or three tablespoons. I kind of like a lot of nutritional yeast. And if you didn't know, you can get a lot of B12 from nutritional yeast. So this stuff is good for you, yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, wait. <laughs> I meant to say this in the beginning of the video. Will you guys do me a favor? Will you write down in the comments below your favorite wing stop flavor? Just write the flavor down. I'm asking for a friend, okay? Don't worry about it. Um, write your favorite flavor down and the the like just write the flavor down in the comment and then you can leave another comment separately but the the comment with the most likes on the flavors i just need to know okay i need to like know like two or three flavors like let me know okay because i i i just need to know so leave a comment of your favorite wing stop flavor if you're a meat eater because I got a little something up my sleeve next into the blender we are going to squeeze half of a lemon this is gonna give it some zing, some zing zang. Okay, now what else? Now let's add some salt and pepper. And then this is from Mr. Dash. This is a chicken seasoning blend. It's vegan, of course, but um, I'm gonna add this to the mix. I don't know, it's very good. I've used it a couple times. About that much, cool. Oh, and then some cayenne. Gotta add some cayenne, gotta add some cayenne. That's good. Don't want it to be too spicy. Okay. Okay, so let me start heating this up and then I'm gonna go blend this up. I'll be right back. I got it all blended up. I did add a heaping dollop of vegan mayo to it because mayo, duh. And then we are gonna add to this pan, I have a whole white onion. Now, usually people dice their onions, but I like to cut them into long strips. And we're gonna add that to the pan and saute it up with three to four cloves of garlic. Mm. And then here I have some spinach. Oops, there's still some garlic on there. This little bit of spinach you guys right here is a 16 ounce bag of spinach, one of those big bags of spinach, and it reduced all the way down to this little bit. So I just um, put it into a pot of boiling water and um, let it boil for two minutes and then put it into a strainer and squished all the water out and then gave it like a rough chop and squished it some more to get the water out. So we're gonna add that into here once these onions and garlic are cooked a little bit more. 
Oh shit, Kaya's chewing on one of my favorite shoes. <gasps> no, look what you're doing to my shoe, little stinker. You're a stinker. Aw, I love these shoes. I got these shoes at Savers. Like, I still have the sticker on them. $7.99, but I went to their 50% off sale that they have all the time if you sign up for their mailing list. And I got them for $4. So, these were worth it. It's okay that you chewed them up. It's okay. All right, now. Let's continue on. Let me turn this up a little bit. So these are about halfway cooked, and I'm good with that because I like raw onion. Okay, so I'm going to add in the spinach, and then I'm also going to add in some more, like, pepper, salt and pepper. I'm going to add some more of, how do I open this? What's on my name? I can't see. What? Okay. Some more of this flavoring for Mr. Dash, the chicken. I'm going to add this in now. This is the tofu and cashew mixture. Let's throw that in there. Wow, look at this. Oh my God, doesn't that look so good? I'm gonna make it even better. Check this out, okay. Oh my God, you guys, look what I got. I got the Via Life vegan cheese. I'm so excited. Yes. Okay, this is, I. apparently this cheese is like super, super, super good. So I'm so excited to try it. We're gonna grate some of this on top of the dip and I'm gonna put it in the oven. But this is the Gouda flavor cheese. I loved gouda when i um ate cheese so i'm so excited about this i cannot wait to try it okay you guys let's try it it smells like cheese what is going on oh my goodness i'm so excited okay so let's grate this just right on top of the dip oh yeah baby you are so beautiful to me Okay, so you guys know that I love my McCormick's bacon bits. So I'm going to sprinkle some of these on top because, you know, that stuff. I'm going to actually just do it on a little bit, like mostly half, three-fourths, and leave the side without it um, just to see how it goes. Oh, <gasps> look at this. Okay, is this hot? Okay. Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna go pop this into the oven. Um, I think I have it at like 350 or 400 degrees for 10, 20 minutes. I'm just gonna keep an eye on the cheese just to see um, when it melts. And then I'm gonna take it out and I'll be right back. Yum, yes ma'am. Oh my gosh, you guys, check this out. It turned out so, so good. I actually did try it already because I started recording and I forgot that I didn't turn on my microphone. So, um, there's no audio <laughs> to the clip. So um, let's try it again. Okay, it's good, I promise. Okay, so, oh, also the cheese melted so good on there. It's absolutely fabulous. The first chips that I'm trying today are the Ruffles Simply Sea Salted. I love Ruffles Original, they're like my favorite and the chips are like really big and greasy and oh, I love them. Okay, so. Let's try these. These are actually really, really good. Okay, and then, oh, oh. <laughs> I wish you guys could try some of this. It's so good. Ooh, look at that. Look at this. Look at all this. Mm. It's so good. Mmm. It's so creamy. Mmm. The cayenne's coming through, all that garlic and onion. Yes, ma'am. Mmm. 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 Mmm, mmm, mmm. And also, these chips are pretty darn good. So the next chip, this is by Ben Fields. This is jalapeno nacho. Mmm. Okay. Four grams of fiber and four grams of protein. Oop, my chip broke. Oh, my chips keep breaking. Okay. Mm. The dip is so good. Mmm. <laughs> These are good. Mmm. You taste like the bean flavor of the chip. Bean fields, bean chip. Well, duh then. <laughs> cool. These are good. I like potato chips better. Don't tell the beans that. Okay, let's go to the side. <gasps> You guys, I never tried these Zaps flavored chips before. I just, I just passed them on by in the the chip aisle, and I, 
legit do not know why I did until I tried a bag of their hotter than hot jalapeno, which I have right here a while ago. And <laughs> I fell in love. You guys, these chips are phenomenal. If you've never had these chips, they're so full of flavor and deliciousness. Like I cannot, I cannot. Okay. Enough talking about it. So I never saw this flavor before. This is the Cajun Deal Gator Taters. <laughs> you guys, I ate alligator once. I'm sad about it now, but it was interesting to say the least. It tasted like catfish. And my grandpa said it was because the alligators ate catfish. Okay. Mm, these chips are so good. They're so crunchy. Okay. Mm. Mmm. Ooh, these are good. These are like the best pickle chips I've ever had. The flavor, I'm not kidding. They like pack their chips with flavor. Like there's just dust of flavor all over these chips. And there, it's not like annoying flavor where it's like gonna dry out your mouth. Mm -mm. And they're really greasy. I like grease. <laughs> Mm. Yum. Okay, next. Next, these are the New Orleans Kettle Style Voodoo Flavor. Yes. Okay. $2.89 for a bag of chips. Can you believe it? Chips are so expensive. Like, why? Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay. turmeric extract okay smoke flavor smoke flavor is where it's at oh this chip looks so good like when you can almost like see through the chip that's how you know you got a good chip mm. 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 these are so like vinegary mm. but flavorful they they're not like salt and vinegar they're like Flavor burst and vinegar flavor chip. Oh, yum. Let's try it with the dip. Get in my belly. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Yum. Okay. We gotta move on. Oh. I am so excited about these chips. You have no idea. One of my favorite flavor chips are the... Um, onion flavor is it maui onion or onion sweet onion flavor from deep river they have amazing chips and they're super super crunchy and thick so i'm so excited to try these these are their honchos organic ranch flavor chips you guys ranch vegan ranch flavored chips Holy shit. i was shooketh when I saw these chips and like on the back, I reread and read the ingredients over and over and over again. And then it says lactic acid on there. Um, from what I found on the internet, um, most of the time it's vegan. And I went on their website, the Deep River website, and I, on their website, it states that this flavor chip, ranch flavor, is vegan. Holla if you hear me, yes, ma'am. I'm so sad. Okay, let's try these. I've been craving, craving like Cool Ranch Doritos. Like I loved those. So I'm just hoping that these taste like that. Okay, they smell dry. They smell like ranch, but like have a very subtle smell. And look how many like little bits of chips there is in there. Okay, okay, we gotta try it. Oh my God, <laughs> I was dead wrong. What the fuck? Oh my God. Stop what you're doing and go to the store and get these, especially if you're vegan and you miss ranch flavored chips. I want, um, um, with the dip? Oh, go home. Oh my God. This is what I'm talking about, you guys. Like. If we can make shit like this vegan, why do we need to put milk in everything? At least chips. Leave the chips alone. <laughs> okay, wow, these are so good. I'm so excited about these. I bought two bags. 
before I even like knew that they were like fully vegan because I was just hoping and praying that they were. I'm so glad that they are because these are going down. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Okay, let's move on. I wanted a spicy chip, so I got the red mojo multigrain tortilla chips made with real organic jalapenos. We'll see if they're actually spicy. Hot mojo, hot mofo, more like it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. I hate when the bags are so hard to open. Like, you can't, like, open it past this seam right here at the top. Get your, get your life right, chips. Okay. Ooh. They're not spicy at all. Let me try it without any of the dip. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. A little bit of the heat's coming through now. Mm. Mm hmm. I like these. These are good. Okay. Good stuff. These would make amazing nachos. With some black beans and corn and some of that cheese on there. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ooh, the spice is coming through now. Okay, let's go back to this side. <sighs> These are the shit. These are the ones I was talking about earlier. Hotter than jalapeno. They're not hotter than jalapeno. Ooh, you can just, the burst of jalapeno flavor smell that comes through. Mm. Oh, Ooh, I already know what these taste like, but here's what I'm talking about. Like, I don't know if you could tell, but like the, um, you can like see through the chip, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> because it's so greasy. Okay, I know what these taste like, so we're just gonna put it right into the dip. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Who would have thought? Blend it up, cashews and tofu. Will be so good. Mm, I love these. I'm gonna eat more of these later. <laughs> you guys have to try this flavor. Okay, next we have. Next we have more of the honchos from Deep River. This is the peach habanero, and it says medium heat on here. So let's see. I mean, look, look, this is where the chips start. Like, we have this, all this bit right up here. No chips in it. Uh. It's a conspiracy. Okay. Mmm. Instantly get hit with some sweetness right away. Mmm. It's organic. These are all organic. That's cool. Oh, they're so good. Not spicy. Maybe just like a teens, but the sweetness is coming through. It's, it's very good. It's weird. Like, I don't eat sweet chips. Mm -hmm, mm, 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 mm. I like it. I'm so freaking excited about these because these are the closest thing to Doritos. I found. Way to go, Deep River. Yes. What is it, Kiki? Ritz Crisp and Thins. Have you guys ever tried this chip before? They have like different kinds of flavors. The best one is the salt and vinegar. Holy moly, are those so good. Oh! <laughs> Whoops, no, Kiki. Those, those spicy for you. Don't burn your belly. Okay. Look at this one. <laughs> it, why though? Why are you guys all stuck together? Okay. Let's put that one down. Okay. No. Let's try it on its own. 
Mmm. The Chipotle, though. Chipotle is my life. Oh, my God, you guys. I need to do a Chipotle milk bun. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like these a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. These would be so good. They're crumbled into a soup. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, they're too thin to dip. Because they keep cracking. But they're good. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, you guys. My chips are gone. I'm going to pack up the rest of this dip. Also, this dip is great for parties and like appetizers that you might need to serve when you have guests over and stuff like that. So try it out. And if you do, please let me know if you like it. So I'm going to take it to my friend's house who's not vegan and see what she thinks. All right, you guys, I am out of here. I hope you really enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.